Hello and um, welcome to a mini mum moment. Uh, This is hopefully a point in your day where you can take a breath and be still and a pause. If you're new here, I'm Claire and I'm a minister in the Moravian Church, but I'm also a mum to two little people, age one and age three. They keep me very busy and a bit like you, I imagine you have a lot of fun but you're also quite tired by the end of the day. Well, I'm also one half of Fun Faith Boxes alongside my twin sister, Laura, and we thought that now would be the time to try and launch a new form of YouTube where together we can meet as a community at any point in our day to take a moment to be still, to be calm, and to pause and be with God for busy parents everywhere. This is your time of self-care. So it's whatever works for you in terms of your self-care. For me, I'm going to do a little bit of colouring in alongside reflecting on a little bit of a Bible study that I hope is helpful to each of you. I'm going to use the daily watchwords, which is something that I use most days. It's part of my church tradition and faith. and I find it really helpful. So today is Thursday the 20th. And there's lots in here, but I'm going to actually focus just on the first bit from Psalm 19, verse 1. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. I'll say it again. The heavens are telling the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims his handiwork. I walk my eldest to uh, school and I also walk my youngest the other days when dad's not doing it to the childminder and that one's the longer walk of the two. It takes about 45 minutes each way. I don't know if you're involved in childcare and equally doing long walks but it's lots of time to think and rest and relax or plan the day ahead and rarely in that moment of walking do I stop and notice my surroundings. I don't know if that resonates with you guys out there but today unlike usually I was mid-prayer praying for various people in my church community when I stopped and I looked and I saw the sun peeking out across the sky, making it feel a little less cold, as it is cold in England right now, and a little more warm. And that passage for today reminds us that God is in the creation at all times. God's in the underlying of the creation, not just the weather systems which kind of come above, but in the very foundation, in the rocks, in the lava, in the cracks, in the soil, where the wiggly worms come up. And maybe your toddler, like my toddler, likes to find them. God rests in all parts of the earth. And I think in January, when it's cold, we often forget to see God in our weather. It's kind of easier as it gets warmer in England and it gets sunnier. But sometimes when it's grey, when it's cold and it's below freezing and you're doing that long walk to the childminders, it's good to take a moment to stop and pause. I wonder what God thought as God was in the midst of creation. We know at the end of each day God thought it was good, or indeed by the very end, very good, as God surveyed God's creation. But we wonder in the midst of it all, was it hard? Did God get tired? Did God find energy in the creating? Or did God actually just really want to rest so that by the end of the week, on that Sabbath day, when God did finally get a chance to rest, Was he super tired out? What do you think? 
Well, as a working mum, I sort of long to rest, even in the midst of the busy. But that's not to say that I don't find enjoyment in the moments of busy, but I desperately need these moments of calm to just slow. So what makes you guys calm? What does your rest look like? What in your life lets you just flow? Not what you have to think, not what you have to do, and not where you have to be someone for someone else. What helps you flow? For me, it can be colouring in, it can be painting, it can be painting pictures or nails. It can be going for a walk or a run if I get a moment's peace. Flow comes to me in lots of different ways where I get a chance to pause. But creating that space and kind of keeping that space isn't always a, a thing I prioritise well. But I want to encourage myself and you guys to do so. Because our model that our creator set suggests that we need that moment, even as busy parents. That moment to stop. That moment to truly pause and reconnect with who we are. To stop and look at what has been created in the last few days, on the last few hours. And just reflect, has today been a good day? Where was God in today? Where was the light in today? May you take a moment to rest and may you find light. I'll show you my beginning of my flow time. Hopefully I'll get a chance to finish it. But I just pray that today or this evening you get your five or ten or maybe even longer minutes to just be still and be you.